punished and end up telling lies more often and convincing them that they are physically punished. You say physically punished, what do you mean, Steve? Corporal punishment. If you're getting beaten about the head, neck, chest, the whole bit. Yeah, you know, like get wrapped on the knuckles, you know. Uh, that, that seems to make sense, you know, if, if, the, if the punishments are high, then you're willing to lie to get out of getting that level of punishment again. I mean, that seems to make sense. Something about that, though, I'd uh, say it going both ways. And then researchers find evidence that the ocean was sulfitic. If I remember correctly, the ocean was sulfitic in certain places, but I don't remember being a barrier or reading about it being a barrier to evolution. So it's between this and that. <laughs> See how that works, Rebecca? There's three of them. You get you rid of one. Bob thing here, Jay. Yeah, I'm and gonna I go. just want to tell you, pick, pick which one you think is the picture. All right, the only one I don't have any real information on in my head at all is, is the one about the kids being beat. So I'm going to take that one. You just don't remember because you were hit too hard. That's right. That's right. All right, Rebecca. Yeah, children who are physically punished would obviously, I think, develop, uh, that, that would give them an incentive to develop a highly sophisticated manner of avoiding that physical punishment. So they would directly benefit by becoming good liars. And so I can see how that would basically be training them to lie. Does that make sense? Um, and then the, uh, the last one about, uh, the Earth's oceans being highly sulfitic prior to 750 million years ago, I am notoriously bad with knowing timelines and numbers, but I think that that makes sense from what I know about uh, when animals first started to appear, particularly on land. I don't know, maybe, maybe they got sick of the uh, poisonous oceans and moved onto land. That could have happened. That makes sense to me. That fits in with the timeline as I know it, and um, so that leaves the chess thing. Uh, ranking in chess strongly correlates to the number of hours practiced. I can see how practice would obviously improve your playing, but I think that at its root you would need a certain kind of strategic thinking uh, that maybe wouldn't immediately come from practice. Like, you would need to start with a certain kind of flair for strategic thinking. So I think that that would throw off the rankings a bit when it comes to hours practice. I, I can see how some people's brains would be 